If you're a nursing student or healthcare professional debating on purchasing a new stethoscope, you've come to the right place. Because in today's video, we're gonna break down the differences between the Littman Classic 3 and the Cardiology 4. After this video, you'll have a better feel of which stethoscope is best for you. So without further ado, grab some coffee and let's get started. So currently on Amazon, the Classic 3 is going for about $89 and that's for the color black and different colors can be more expensive. So let's see what you get for the price. So on Amazon, it says that the Littman Classic 3 is perfect in non-critical settings. It says that you can use this stethoscope to take blood pressures and make limited patient assessments. Doesn't sound very exciting, does it? But don't worry, the stethoscope gets better. So the Littman Classic 3 has a turnable diaphragm with two sides to listen to different pitches of sound. It's heavier than the lightweight tube stethoscope, but not extremely heavy. The tubing is this classic rubber tubing that's pretty lightweight. And personally, I had the classic stethoscope throughout all of school because it was cheaper and I didn't have the money to drop on a fancy one. Additionally, I didn't spend many days in critical care situations. But honestly, even after I graduated, I waited probably about six months and had some savings in order to buy myself a nicer, fancier stethoscope. And that stethoscope was... The Cardiology 4. So the Cardiology 4 is currently selling for around $200 on Amazon. At the time that I'm filming, it's around $197 for a black Cardiology 4. This stethoscope is advertised as being able to isolate subtle sounds and detect changes in patient status. That way you can intervene when it matters most. It's intended to be used in critical care and challenging environments. Although I don't really know what they mean by challenging because we're in a pandemic. So isn't every day challenging? Anyways, moving on. It again has a turnable diaphragm that lets you listen to different quality of sounds. And the diaphragm on this stethoscope is actually much taller than the Classic 3. And I think that helps with the quality of auscultation. So the tubing on the Cardiology 4 is a dual lumen tubing, which is thicker. And it's designed to eliminate the rubbing noises that are caused by the traditional tubing. Now this is great because it cuts out the outside noise and improves the quality of your auscultation. However, if you wear it all day, the thicker tubing can cause some neck issues by the end of the shift. Okay, so the Cardiology 4 is definitely the better of the two stethoscopes. Going from a classic to a Cardiology was a huge game changer for me. The first day that I used my Cardiology, I was blown away by all the great sounds that I could hear. It was almost like I could actually label my patient's lung sounds instead of just charting diminished. What's wrong with you? So bottom line, do I think that the Cardiology 4 is worth the investment? Definitely. However, I think it depends on what state in life that you're in. I used the classic all the way through nursing school up until six months after I graduated and I used it in critical care situations during that time. But I wanted to make sure that I was making a good investment because we all know that money doesn't just grow in nursing student pockets. So I hope that you found this review helpful. Tap the like button if you got value out of this video and don't forget to share it with a friend if you think that it could help them make a decision. Subscribe for more nursing content. I might be making more of these types of videos in the future because I think they're a nice break from all the science concepts that we've been talking about. Anyways, stay safe and I'll see you guys next video.